Wherever you go, Dometic knows you will need a way to beat the heat. That is why we designed the 9100 Power Patio Awning. This awning features an in-tube motor with low amp draw and faster operation, and the standard 13.5 ounce premium vinyl or acrylic fabric is available in numerous double-sided colors. We begin with the proper operation of your Dometic 9100 Power Patio Awning. Once your vehicle is parked and level, open the awning by pressing and holding the down or extend button on the awning's toggle switch until fully extended. Be careful not to overextend the awning. An overextended awning has hardware arms that form a straight line, a valley behind the fabric roller tube that can accumulate water and heavy debris, and a valance that does not hang straight down. To correct these conditions, press and hold the up or retract button on the awning's toggle switch to back the awning up until the valance hangs straight down. The hardware arms resemble a bent elbow, and the valley is gone, leaving an awning position more suitable for water runoff. With the awning fully open, the fabric roller tube will be lower than the RV's awning rail. If you desire a steeper slope, you must adjust the awning pitch. Be sure to read the operating instructions to familiarize yourself with potential pinch hazards. To adjust the pitch of your awning, loosen the lock knob located on the underneath side of the adjustable pitch arm assembly. With the lock knob loosened, pull down on the top arm assembly to lower the awning into watershed position. Tighten the lock knob to set the pitch. Whether heading for home or preparing for inclement weather, you need to know how to close the awning. Start by loosening the lock knobs on both sets of hardware. The awning will automatically reset to its original position. Then, lightly tighten the knobs on both arm assemblies, pull down on the arm assembly to verify the knob is not too tight, and the adjustable pitch arm assembly slides as normal. Now that the lock knobs are secure, press and hold the up or retract button on the toggle switch until the awning seats against the vehicle. If your vehicle is a motorhome and you are preparing the awning for travel, make sure the ignition interlock is working. This important feature prevents accidental opening of the awning while in transit. In the case of a power failure, it may be necessary to close the awning manually. If this scenario presents itself, use the auxiliary power source or pull strap method discussed in the operating instructions. Now that you know how to operate your Dometic 9100 Power Patio Awning, let's review some general care and user tips to help extend the life of your awning. We begin with the hardware. Do not use harsh chemicals or abrasives when cleaning the awning's hardware. Mild cleansers work best. Be sure to lubricate all moving parts with a silicone grease, avoiding overspray that can loosen the adhesive on important labels. Clean the awning fabric with a soft mop using a mixture of liquid soap, bleach, and water. Avoid the use of corrosive cleaners and mildew removers. Wash, rinse, and repeat as needed to ensure your awning fabric stays clean. Lastly, here are a few safety checks to perform at the beginning of every season. Tighten all back channel and awning rail screws. Prevent water streaks by replacing cracked and peeling sealant along the awning rail. Prevent drips by rubbing paraffin wax across the stitching. If your power awning is equipped with a wind sensor, avoid the use of tie-downs as their use interferes with the retraction of the awning. Never hang heavy objects from the awning hardware and only use RV-rated awning accessories. Prior to using your Dometic 9100 Power Patio Awning, be sure to read the operating instructions. Now get out there and enjoy a weekend away without having to worry about the sun.